Hello, in this video we will continue building our project address book and if you have already on the screen your project you don't need to do anything I will go to file to open to project solution to open my project and it's all located in the address book I'll double click on it and to launch my project I need to click on address book that's SLN that stands for solution so I will double click on it and it's right here now I don't see it on the screen and to see it on the screen I'll have to click on the solution explorer and double click on this form 1 CS now my form is on the screen and as you remember to start editing it I need my toolbox and to get my toolbox I'll go to view toolbox and it's already pinned to the screen and now I will continue building my, my form. Now I'm going to keep it really simple. There will be only three lines. It will be the name line, the address line, and the phone line. And for each property, I'm going to put, I'm talking about person's property. So for, uh, for name, it's going to be a label and a text box. For address, it's going to be a label and address box. Also for phone number it's gonna be a label and a, a text box and on the bottom I'll have three buttons so we're gonna set it up and in the next video we'll actually start coding we're gonna put some code behind those buttons so uh, let's start with labels and I'll place my first label on the screen and as you remember by default it's gonna be label one I'm gonna double click on name and rename it to LBL name and this is the name of our label and to change the text of it I'm gonna go to text and type name I'm gonna put column all right now it looks kind of small so it's highlighted let's click on font on that little plus double click on size and let's type 14 let's see I think it's big enough now since I like how it looks I can just copy paste the same level instead of putting a new one on the screen and changing all this let me delete it so there are a few ways to copy paste it you can just right click on it copy and then right click on it again paste another way you can do when it's highlighted you press down control button and you drag it and as you can see it made a copy so this is kind of the easiest way let's put <coughs> underneath and we're going to change the property so like I said it's going to be name address and phone number let's actually make another copy of it and we're going to change all of it to the same time all right so for for the second line it's gonna be LBL address and we'll put address here and phone number LBL phone we'll keep it short and for text we'll actually put number all right so now there are a few things we can do so if you don't want to try to line it up like on the left side try to measure it kind of you have actually help with Visual Studio helping you but if you don't want to do that you can actually highlight all of them and on the top menu there's a line left button you click on it and it's gonna line up so if they're out of line let's say if they're like that if I hi highlight them and I click on that button it's gonna highlight them it's gonna line them up and I can also check if they're vertically evenly distributed so to do that I'm gonna come here and says make vertical spacing equal I'm gonna click on it and as you can see the dress was a little bit 
it just it, it went a little bit down all right and actually for this project what I'm gonna do I'm gonna line up line them up uh, by the right border so I'm gonna click on this and this is how it's gonna look and I can move all of them at the same time I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left and now I'm gonna place text boxes on the screen all right like it's the same thing on the common controls you're gonna find the text box so I'm gonna drag it right here and I'm gonna change the name of it to txt name and I don't need anything down here because there's no text right now but let's change right away the font since our font for our labels is 14 let's do the same for our text box so I'm gonna click on font double click on size and it's going to be 14 and let me make it longer yeah, I'll bring it a little closer like that now what I'm gonna do to copy it I'm gonna actually highlight it and press Control C for copy and then Control V and as you can see I have another box I'm gonna put it there and one more type type Control V so now I have three text boxes all right second one I'm gonna rename it really quick txt address and for phone number I'm gonna put txt phone all right so next thing we're gonna put three buttons on the bottom so we have button right here I'm gonna drag it right here and I'm gonna change the name and like I said it's a good practice to always change and those abbreviations it's actually you can find a list of abbreviations that you're supposed to use like I said as a best practice so for button the abbreviation is BTN and I'll put that would be our let's say exit button and on the bottom I need to change the text I'll put exit and let's make it a little bigger and let's increase the font to click on this plus double click on size 14 I think it looks nice let's put it right here and I'm gonna click control and drag it to the left so I have another button so okay it didn't work let's try again control okay and I will rename it to B T N next and for text I'm gonna type next and I'm gonna put this let's do two well let's see how it looks okay so it's going to be next and previous button so let me all right do another one so btn previous and here I'm gonna put this sign facing the left and I'm gonna type previous to oh it didn't it didn't show up okay it's not big enough let's let me make it a little bigger okay and also what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight all of them and I'm gonna gonna go to the top panel and to make them the same size I will click on this button that if you point on this button it's gonna say make same size so click on it and as you can see it was a little bit adjusted and also 
I will spade them out. Okay. And now I'm gonna move it move it a little bit to the left. Alright. So now dress book I can go a little bit to the right. And uh I'm gonna leave the colors as it is. But if you wanna play with colors of the background, what you can do, you click, you highlight the form and your properties you can uh, categorize it sort it by categories and go to appearance and if you go to back color let's, let's just change it to something I'll go to web and I'll change it to light gray alright I'll leave it like that but if you want a different color feel free to change to whatever you want alright so in this video we completed building our form and in the next video we'll start putting code behind it. And for now have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.